Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe Tamales. A staple in Belizean cuisine, tamales are made from masa, corn dough, filled with various ingredients like chicken, pork, or beans, wrapped in banana leaves, and steamed. Tamales are a popular and cherished dish in Belize, as in many other Latin American countries. These savory and comforting treats consist of masa, corn dough, that is typically filled with a variety of ingredients, wrapped in banana leaves or corn husks, and steamed to perfection. Here's how to make Belizean tamales. Ingredients. For the masa, 2 cups masa harina, corn flour. 1 cup chicken or vegetable broth, warm. 1 half cup vegetable oil or lard. 1 teaspoon baking powder. Salt, to taste. For the filling, 2 cups cooked and shredded chicken or pork, seasoned with spices. 1 cup tomato sauce. 1 onion, finely chopped. 1 bell pepper, finely chopped. 2 cloves garlic, minced. 1 teaspoon ground cumin. 1 teaspoon chili powder, adjust to your spice preference. Salt and pepper, to taste. For wrapping and steaming. Banana leaves or corn husks, soaked in warm water to soften. Cooking twine or strips of banana leaves for tying the tamales. Instructions. Prepare the masa. In a mixing bowl, combine the masa harina, warm chicken or vegetable broth, vegetable oil or lard, baking powder, and salt. Mix well until the dough comes together. It should have a slightly moist and pliable consistency, similar to cookie dough. Prepare the filling. In a skillet, heat some oil over medium heat. Add the chopped onion and bell pepper and saute until they become soft and translucent. Add the minced garlic and cook for an additional minute until fragrant. Stir in the shredded chicken or pork, tomato sauce, ground cumin, chili powder, salt, and pepper. Cook the mixture for a few minutes until the flavors meld together and the filling is heated through. Remove it from the heat. Assemble the tamales. Take a softened banana leaf or corn husk and place a spoonful of masa in the center. Use the back of a spoon or your fingers to spread it into a thin layer, leaving some space around the edges. Add a spoonful of the prepared filling in the center of the masa. Fold the sides of the banana leaf or corn husk over the masa and filling, creating a rectangular or square shape. Fold up the bottom of the leaf or husk and secure the tamale by tying it with a strip of banana leaf or cooking twine. Make sure it is tight. Papooses. Thick corn tortillas stuffed with cheese, beans, or meat and served with cabbage slaw and tomato salsa. Wrapped. Papooses are a beloved traditional dish from El Salvador, but they are also popular in Belize and other Central American countries. These thick, stuffed corn tortillas are typically filled with various ingredients and served with a side of curtido, a fermented cabbage slaw, and tomato salsa. Here's how to make pupusas. Ingredients. For the pupusa dough, 2 cups masa harina, corn flour, 1 and a quarter cups warm water, 1 half teaspoon salt. For the filling, choose one or more options. Shredded cheese, queso fresco or mozzarella, cooked and seasoned ground pork, chicharron, refried beans, frijoles refritos, laroco, a Central American flour bud, usually cooked and mixed with cheese. Spinach or zucchini, sautéed and seasoned. For the curtido, cabbage slaw, asterisk asterisk. 2 cups finely shredded cabbage. 1 half cup finely chopped onion. 1 half cup grated carrot. 1 half cup apple cider vinegar. 1 half cup warm water. 1 teaspoon dried oregano. 1 quarter to 1 half teaspoon red pepper flakes, adjust to taste. Salt and pepper, to taste. For the tomato salsa, 2 ripe tomatoes, finely chopped. 1 half cup finely chopped onion. 1 quarter cup chopped fresh cilantro. 1 jalapeno or serrano pepper, finely chopped, adjust to taste. 1 to 2 cloves garlic, minced. Juice of 1 lime. Salt and pepper, to taste. Instructions. Prepare the pupusa dough. In a mixing bowl, combine the masa harina and salt. Gradually add the warm water while kneading the dough until it reaches a smooth, pliable consistency. It should be moist but not sticky. If it's too dry, add a bit more water. If it's too sticky, add a bit more masa harina. Divide the dough into golf ball-sized portions and cover them with a clean cloth to keep them from drying out. Prepare the curtido, cabbage slaw, asterisk asterisk. In a bowl, combine the shredded cabbage, chopped onion, grated carrot, dried oregano, red pepper flakes, salt, and pepper. In a separate bowl, mix the apple cider vinegar and warm water. 
Pour this mixture over the cabbage mixture and toss everything together. Cover the curtido and let it sit at room temperature for at least 30 minutes to allow the flavors to meld. You can prepare this in advance for even better flavor. Garnashes. Corn tortillas topped with refried beans, grated cheese, and pickled onions. Garnashes are a popular and delicious street food in Belize. These simple yet flavorful snacks consist of small, crispy corn tortillas topped with refried beans, grated cheese, and pickled onions. Garnashes are often enjoyed as a quick and satisfying treat. Here's how to make them. Ingredients. Small corn tortillas, about 3 to 4 inches in diameter. 1 cup refried beans, homemade or canned. 1 cup grated cheese. Common choices include cheddar or queso fresco. Pickled onions, recipe below. Vegetable oil, for frying the tortillas. For the pickled onions. 1 red onion, thinly sliced. 1 half cup white vinegar. 1 half cup water. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 half teaspoon sugar. 1 to 2 cloves garlic, minced, optional. 1 quarter teaspoon black pepper. Instructions. Prepare the pickled onions. In a bowl, combine the white vinegar, water, salt, sugar, minced garlic, if using, and black pepper. Stir until the salt and sugar are dissolved. Add the thinly sliced red onions to the vinegar mixture and stir to coat them. Allow the onions to marinate in the pickling mixture for at least 30 minutes. For the best flavor, refrigerate them for several hours or overnight. The longer they marinate, the more pronounced the pickled flavor will be. Prepare the garnashes. Heat a small amount of vegetable oil in a skillet or frying pan over medium-high heat. Once the oil is hot, fry the small corn tortillas one at a time. Fry each tortilla for about 1 to 2 minutes on each side or until it becomes crispy and lightly golden. Use tongs to flip the tortilla. Remove the fried tortilla from the oil and place it on paper towels to drain any excess oil. While the tortillas are still warm, spread a spoonful of refried beans evenly over each tortilla. The heat from the tortillas will help soften the beans and make them easier to spread. Sprinkle a generous amount of grated cheese over the refried beans on each garnash. Top the garnashes with the pickled onions, using a fork or your fingers to lift the onions from the pickling liquid. Serve the garnashes while they are still warm and the cheese is melted. Garnashes are typically served as a snack or appetizer, and they offer a delightful combination of textures and flavors, with the creaminess of the beans, the richness of the cheese, and the tangy pickled onions. They are a favorite street food in Belize and are often enjoyed at local eateries and food stalls throughout the country. Salbutes. Fried corn tortillas topped with shredded chicken, lettuce, tomato, and cheese. Salbutes are a delightful and popular street food in Belize. These crispy and flavorful snacks are made with small, fried corn tortillas topped with a variety of ingredients, typically including shredded chicken or turkey, lettuce, tomato, pickled onions, and sometimes avocado or cheese. Here's how to make Belizean salbutes. Ingredients. For the salbut dough. 2 cups masa harina, corn flour. 1 and a quarter cups warm water. 1 half teaspoon salt. For the toppings. Cooked and shredded chicken or turkey. Lettuce, shredded. Tomato, diced. Pickled onions. Recipe below. Avocado slices, optional. Grated cheese. Common choices include cheddar or queso fresco. Tomato salsa or hot sauce, optional. For the pickled onions. 1 red onion, thinly sliced. 1 half cup white vinegar. 1 half cup water. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 half teaspoon sugar. 1 to 2 cloves garlic, minced, optional. 1 quarter teaspoon black pepper. Instructions. Prepare the pickled onions. In a bowl, combine the white vinegar, water, salt, sugar, minced garlic, if using, and black pepper. Stir until the salt and sugar are dissolved. Add the thinly sliced red onions to the vinegar mixture and stir to coat them. Allow the onions to marinate in the pickling mixture for at least 30 minutes. For the best flavor, refrigerate them for several hours or overnight. The longer they marinate, the more pronounced the pickled flavor will be. Prepare the salbutes. In a mixing bowl, combine the masa harina and salt. Gradually add the warm water while kneading the dough until it reaches a smooth, pliable consistency. It should be moist but not sticky. If it's too dry, add a bit more water. If it's too sticky, add a bit more masa harina. Divide the dough into golf ball-sized portions and cover them with a clean cloth to keep them from drying out. 
Take one dough portion and flatten it in your hand to form a small, thick disc. Heat vegetable oil in a skillet or frying pan over medium-high heat. The oil should be hot but not smoking. Carefully place the flattened dough in the hot oil and fry it for about 2 to 3 minutes on each side or until it becomes puffy and golden brown. Use a spatula to press the dough down gently to ensure even cooking. Remove the fried dough, now a salbute, from the oil and place it on paper towels to drain any excess oil. While the salbute is still warm, top it with shredded chicken or turkey, shredded lettuce, diced tomato, pickled onions, avocado slices, if using, and grated cheese. Panadas. Deep fried corn pockets filled with seasoned fish, shrimp, or beans. Panadas are a beloved street food in Belize, often enjoyed for their crispy exterior and flavorful filling. These fried turnovers are made with corn masa, dough, and typically filled with seasoned fish, shrimp, or refried beans. They are commonly served with a side of pickled onions or hot sauce for an extra kick. Here's how to make Belizean panadas. Ingredients. For the panade dough. 2 cups masa harina, corn flour. 1 and a quarter cups warm water. 1 half teaspoon salt. For the filling, choose one option. 1 cup cooked and seasoned fish or shrimp, diced or shredded. 1 cup refried beans, homemade or canned. Vegetable oil, for frying. For serving, pickled onions, recipe below. Hot sauce or tomato salsa, optional. For the pickled onions, 1 red onion, thinly sliced. 1 half cup white vinegar. 1 half cup water. 1 teaspoon salt. 1 half teaspoon sugar. 1 to 2 cloves garlic, minced, optional. 1 quarter teaspoon black pepper. Instructions. Prepare the pickled onions. In a bowl, combine the white vinegar, water, salt, sugar, minced garlic, if using, and black pepper. Stir until the salt and sugar are dissolved. Add the thinly sliced red onions to the vinegar mixture and stir to coat them. Allow the onions to marinate in the pickling mixture for at least 30 minutes. For the best flavor, refrigerate them for several hours or overnight. The longer they marinate, the more pronounced the pickled flavor will be. Prepare the panadas. In a mixing bowl, combine the masa harina and salt. Gradually add the warm water while kneading the dough until it reaches a smooth, pliable consistency. It should be moist but not sticky. If it's too dry, add a bit more water. If it's too sticky, Add a bit more masa harina. Divide the dough into golf ball sized portions and cover them with a clean cloth to keep them from drying out. Take one dough portion and flatten it in your hand to form a small, thin disc, about 4 inches in diameter. Place a spoonful of your chosen filling, fish, shrimp, or refried beans, in the center of the dough. Carefully fold the dough over the filling to encase it completely, forming a half moon or turnover shape. Press the edges of the turnover to seal it, ensuring that no filling escapes. Heat vegetable oil in a skillet or frying pan over medium-high heat. The oil should be hot but not smoking. Carefully place the turnovers in the hot oil and fry them for about 3-4 to four minutes on each side or until they become golden brown and crispy.